Hello friends, this is Swagat here. Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, this very nifty little codec pack from Microsoft which helps you preview your raw image formats. Uh, you don't need to develop it in JPEG, you can view it. So I think this is very helpful for people who work with raw image formats. As you can see, you have different codec packs for AMD and Intel processors. This is for AMD, let me highlight it for you. So you can just download it here, 9.1 MB. For Intel, it's even less. It's just 5 MB. And although it's ex it says only x86, that is 32-bit operating system, you can also use it for 64-bit operating system, as I'm doing right now. If you scroll down the list, here is an overview of the codec pack. And the most important thing here is it has listed the models of the cameras it supports. Uh, the raw images from these cameras are supported. So please uh, be sure to check if your model camera model is on the list. After you download it and install it, it's pretty easy, it's straightforward. Uh, let me show you some of my images here. Uh, like I said, you about the compatibility issue. Uh, this raw image was taken from a Ricoh camera, so it doesn't support the Ricoh raw image format. That's the ENG format. So if you scroll down here for my Olympus raw image format yes uh, this is olympus raw image format as you can see it gives a pretty nifty view a uh, very good view in fact it's almost like watching a jpeg file and if you just take it to extra large icons it's even clear what i used to do previously is i used to develop all my raw images into jpegs without doing any modifications and then choose the file files that i would like to modify uh, yeah, it, it was always better than processing each image one by one, but then still it took a lot of time. So uh, this codec pack has actually made it a lot more easier for me. I can just look at the preview out here and then select which files I want to process further. So let's, let's check one of these files. For example, let's take this one. Let me open it with Photoshop. There you go. So I can just do all my processing out here. So I don't need to just uh, develop each image one by one, or just have to develop all images into a JPEG file before I can preview it. So this is a very very nifty little codec and very helpful one. It's very thoughtful on part of Microsoft uh, to come up with this codec. It's not uh, usually that they do it. So I'm very happy. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll catch you again later.